Hi, my name is Rich Hanlon. I'm your Adirondack Nature Guide. This video is a follow-up video from the Pigeon Tremex Horntail video that I posted two weeks ago. We are back at the same beach snag because there's more insect activity happening that is related to the Pigeon Tremex Horntails having laid their eggs inside the bark of this tree two weeks ago. Let's go in for a closer look. You'll notice two additional spines oriented straight from the center of the body of this female pigeon tremex. And she's using these to inject two things within the bark of this tree. One is her egg, and the other is a small amount of fungi that will soften the wood around the developing larva and make the wood more easily digestible. Enter the giant ichneumon wasp, a formidable looking member of the insect world. It's got a bold red, yellow, and black color pattern meant to serve as a warning of toxicity to would-be predators, like the coral snake has to warn of its venomous nature. But the danger of the giant ichneumon is appearance only. The flycatcher who calls its bluff enjoys a nutrient-rich meal with no adverse effects. Perhaps the most noticeable part of the giant ichneumon is that tail that looks like a stinger, but is actually an ovipositor, an appendage used to insert eggs deep inside the wood already infested with the larvae of its host, the pigeon tremex. This female giant ichneumon wasp is here now because the pigeon tremex horntail was here depositing eggs and fungus two weeks ago. Giant ichneumons are pigeon tremex parasites. This might be troubling for our pigeon tremex neighbors, but it's fascinating to the student of nature. The ichneumon uses its antenna to sniff out a tree that contains the tremex fungi. She then uses her long ovipositor, as you see here, to deposit her eggs on or near the eggs of developing larvae of pigeon tremex. Upon hatching, the ichneumon larva will consume the pigeon tremex larva for its nourishment. Well, there you have it. There's lots of different kinds of relationships in nature's community that together bring about a collective dynamic balance. It just is one more experience today that goes to, to show you that every tree in the forest really is worth a closer look. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.